What's up guys? Today I'm making a delicious lamb korma. I've made it before but I made it a different way. This is a bit easier. So I hope you follow the steps in the description and you'll have a delicious lamb korma. Let's start off with adding oil. We don't want too little. We can use a lot of oil and remove it later on. Now we add 3 quarter sliced onion. Now let's just lower the heat so it cooks very slow. Okay, I lowered the heat so it doesn't burn. We want it to cook slowly and let that sweet flavor come out of the onion. Usually the onions is the most boring part because you have to fry it really slowly. It can take up to 10 minutes. But now that it's done, when it looks like this, we're going to remove some into another saucer, which we're gonna use later on. We'll try and get as much oil out as possible from the onions before we transfer it. Okay, until we're left with just a little bit. Now we're gonna add our whole spices, black cardamom, green cardamom, cloves, a few pieces of cinnamon sticks, cumin seeds, and bay leaf. We'll just get all of that in. Now after a minute or two, we can go ahead and add in our lamb. Now this is just under one kilo of lamb. Now we can bring it back up to high heat and just mix it in. Now our goal here is to remove all the water from the meat itself. We want it to evaporate and just stay with the oil. While it is frying, we can add a teaspoon of salt so it catches on to the meat. But we will add a bit more salt later on. Now that meat is fried and doesn't have any water in it, we can go ahead and add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of Kashmir chili powder, one heap teaspoon of garam masala, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of dhania powder, and a little bit of masala. And we can mix that in. Now to get rid of the strong lamb smell, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of garlic paste, or garlic and ginger paste, we can mix that in. And now we can just add a bit of ground pepper. Now that the spices are fried, we can just add three cups of water. Well, actually, we leave it at two cups of water because I can see it's a bit too full. We can add a bit more later on if we need to. And we leave that on high heat and let it simmer away. Okay, so this is the point you can see the water is going a bit low. It's worth tasting it just to make sure. You can also check the meat. This is big pieces of meat. So I am going to add another cup of water. And then close it. There is another way you can use a pressure cooker, which will take about 35 to 40 minutes. But because I'm using thick pieces of meat, um, it's got to stay on for around an hour to hour 15 minutes. Okay, once you have a thick enough gravy, we can go ahead and add the curd. You can add curd or yogurt, three quarter cup. After the curd, we can add two green chilies and mix that in. And now we're gonna leave this to simmer for another seven to eight minutes. Okay, and finally, we can add in those onions we kept aside earlier on. Just sprinkle that around. Give it a slight mix so it goes into it. And there you go, nice thick gravy that's covering all of the meat as well. And to make it look good, we can just throw in some coriander on the top. 